Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Thank you, everyone, for watching us. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. You can find us on Facebook, X, and YouTube. Most of our videos are posted on YouTube. Most of our uh, graphics are posted on X and uh, Facebook. So, um... Just giving you guys a heads up. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Aki Walker. 202 West Town Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All right. So we got a full slate on here on the uh on the docket for today. Um, this is our last game of the uh weekend. We will be back on Monday. Um, we'll be doing Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, if I remember correctly, because the first I am busy. So, um, that being said, uh, let's jump in it. Uh, Laddie Gladiators took on the Florida Everblades. Mm -hmm. So shots on goal in the first period, Florida outshot Atlanta ten to seven. In the second period, Florida outshot Atlanta fourteen to seven. In the third period, Florida outshot Atlanta eleven to seven. And in total, Florida outshoots Atlanta thirty-five to twenty-one. Atlanta goes zero for one on the power play with six minutes three infractions, while Florida goes one for three with two minutes one infraction. Uh, scoring in the first period at the 5.30 mark for Atlanta was a goal by Joey Kipalone, assisted by Blake Murray and P.J. Fletcher. Then in the second period uh, for Florida at the 7.29 mark is a goal by Jeremy Biakbatuka, assisted by Colton Hargrove. Then also scoring in the second at the 1441 mark was Colin Thiessen for Florida with an assist from Sean Allen and Jordan Sambrook. Man, Sambrook's still there. Yeah, there when we were there, affiliate. All right, and then in the third at the 1822 mark, I'd imagine this is an empty net goal by Mike O'Leary. I'm looking yeah, at is. the empty net goal. Um, your three stars of the game for this game uh, was uh, Hargrove, who I believe was in net for Florida. Nope. No, Johnson was in net for Florida. Uh, Colton Hargrove with one assist. Uh, Jermaine Baca Ketuba. Batuka. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I only got to say that it goes through this roster another four times this year. Um, and then Thiessen with the game winner. Um, this game in net was Drew DeRider. He stopped 32 of 34. Well, Cam Johnson was in that stopping 20 or 21. And that will do that for that game. On to the next one. The Milwaukee Admirals took on the Chicago Wolves. All right. So shots on goal in the first period. Chicago outshot Milwaukee 12 to 4 in the second period. Milwaukee outshot Chicago 13 to 8. In the third period, Milwaukee outshot Chicago 14 to 6, and in total, Milwaukee outshoots Chicago 32 to 26. On the power play, Chicago goes one for three with eight minutes, four infractions, while Milwaukee, same thing, one for three, eight minutes, four infractions. Scoring in the first period, there was no scoring. In the second period, at the 713 mark for Chicago, is Scott Morrow. Scoring his second of the year on the power play, assisted by Bradley Nadu, uh, his first, and Justin Robidas, his first.
Then scoring at the 13-21 mark was Fedor Svechkov with his second goal in his second game this season on the power play with an assist from Joachim Kebel, his first assist, second point, and Cal O'Reilly, his fifth. No, like we said, no scoring. There was one shot in overtime for those of you who cannot do quick math that we were off by one. He, 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 he. Uh, in overtime, Vinny Hinesosa with his fourth in Fourth goal of the season with an assist from Jake Lucchini and Nick Blankenberg, both of their third. Vinny Hinestroza in six games has 10 points. Um, is Has a point in his last five games, has a goal in his last four. So Vinny Hinestroza playing some really good hockey right now. Um, in net for the Chicago Wolves was Spencer Martin. He stopped 30 of 32. Not a bad night, not a great night. Wait, the math don't add up. Wait, yeah, no, never mind. And in net for the Admirals was M -M Magnus Corona. Uh, he stopped 25 of 26. Uh, the Wolves are coached by Cam Albert with an assist for our assistant coaches are Spiros and Tanastis, Dan Price and Stan Dubicki is their goalie coach. Admirals are head coached by Carl Taylor, assistant coach Matt Donovan and Greg Rollo. Um, attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 3,612. Not great, not horrible. Uh, your referees were Boo Bale. Haladikis and Samantha Hiller. She is really tiny. Like, really, really, really tiny. Like, I watched her yelling at Reed Shaver and she went up to about his belly button. <laughs> uh, your large person were Odin Nelson and Greg Offerman. Uh, the Admirals are back in action again tomorrow night against the Wolves. Well, Atlanta takes on... Uh, uh, the Everblades again, and the Nashville Predators are taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets. For all of you who have kids, have family, have a great time trick-or-treating this weekend if you're in our local area. Um, please be safe and always check your kids' candy. And it doesn't hurt to do a little um, taste testing here and there. <laughs> um, But uh, Admirals win five straight. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, looking at it from a perspective of we are now in first place again. And it literally goes Milwaukee, Texas, Grand Rapids, Manitoba. The Iowa Wild have yet to score a have a lead have a lead in a game. So, yeah, that's not going too well for them. They're getting outscored 31 to 13. Um, the Admirals are outscoring their opponents 21 to 21 to 12. Um So, we'll we'll see where it goes from there. Um in the Pacific Division, it is the Calgary Wranglers and the San Jose Barracuda who are neck and neck there. Uh, the Barracuda being led by Yaroslav Askarov, the former Milwaukee Admiral, who has four wins in his time there so far, as well as two shutouts. For our final action of the night, the Nashville Predators took on the Chicago Blackhawks. All right, shots on goal. Chicago outshot Nashville thirteen to ten in the first period. Nashville outshoot Chicago fourteen to eight in the second period. Nashville outshoot Chicago ten to eight in the third period, and in total, Nashville outshoot Chicago thirty four twenty nine. Nashville is better in the faceoff circle at 58.1% to Chicago's 41.9%. On the power play, Nashville goes 1 for 5, while Chicago goes 0 for 5. 
Uh, both teams had 15 penalty minutes. Nashville outshot or out hit Chicago um, 21 to 10. Both teams had 16 blocked shots. Chicago had 12 giveaways to Nashville's nine, and Chicago had eight takeaways to Nashville's seven. Scoring in the first period for Chicago at the 255 mark was Craig Smith, his third on the year, assisted by Reichel, his third, and Allen, his first. Then in the second period at the 514 mark, uh, for Chicago, Connor Bedard scores his second of the year, assisted by Vlasic, his fourth, and Murphy, his third. Uh, Craig Smith, former Milwaukee Admiral and Nashville Predator. <coughs> then scoring also, wait, you got Forsberg's goal? Uh, sure. Uh, then scoring at the 1341 mark for Nashville was Philip Forsberg scoring his third of the year, assisted by Nyquist, his second, and Carrier, his second. Then scoring his 200th professional goal, Gustav Nyquist, or Gus, scores shorthanded with an assist from Carrier, his third, and Cole Smith, his first. Um, and then in the third, on the power play, something that's kind of plagued the friends this year so far. We thought they'd have a good power play um, with having Stamkos and all that. Um, well, you got to win one, you win two, three is a streak, so tomorrow you take on Columbus. Brady Shea with his second of the season with an assist from Tommy Novak, his first, and Luca Evangelista, his fourth. The Preds complete the comeback with a 3-2 win over the Blackhawks. The uh oh. yeah, okay. Um the goalies in net for the Preds was UC Saros stopping 27 of 29 with a 93.1 save percentage. Um, meanwhile, uh, in net for the Blackhawks was Peter Morazic. Morazic stopped 34 of 31 with three goals against, one on even strength, one on power play, and one on shorthand. <laughs> they tagged him for everything, but he had a 91.2 save percentage, so still not a bad night. Um, the Preds will travel home to play Columbus tomorrow. Um, your three stars of the game are, uh, there we go. Uh, third star of the game was Connor Bernard with the goal. Uh, second star of the game was Cole, uh, Craig, Cole Smith, Craig Smith with a goal. And first star of the game was Gus Nyquist with a goal and an assist. Um, with that being said, um, before we get into any more of the, uh, you know, our wrap up here, um, the the Preds obviously didn't have their A game tonight, and they still found a way. That's 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 a building block. Yeah. Uh, same thing with the Admirals tonight. They they came out flat, and they just stayed in it. You know, uh, Corona kept them in the game. Very, you know. Um, I think Saros did a good job of doing the same. Um, the two goals called back by Nashville for offsides. Good job by the league allowing that to happen. Um, taking a look at these things, making sure that things like this don't happen. Um, so there's there's some things there. Um, I would also like to wish well... Uh, I hope that he is all right. Um, that would be Nick Swaney, I believe it is. Um, took a rough hit from Ryan Ofko and needed to be helped off the ice. Yes, it was. Uh... Yes, Nick Swaney uh, was injured during the game for the Wolves. I hope him well. Uh, they had to stop playing and help him off the ice. Um as I am a man of class here, I wish him well. However, he can set fire to his his personal jersey anytime. <laughs> um, 
hate the jersey, not the not the person wearing it. Um, that's the way I've, I was always taught in in hockey. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, John, you got anything you want to add on onto this? Um, you know, we always talk about how good teams. We well, we aren't the only ones that talk about how good teams find a way to win. All right. Um, do you think that not having your A game for the Admirals at least, um, and still finding a way to win, um, you know, that's a that's a big builder. And and I think like having guys like Vinny Hinnestroza, some some veterans there, uh Keeper Bellows, they got into a little bit of penalty trouble early on with the double with the two minor penalties on different players. Um, I don't think that like personally I didn't see the elbowing that that they called, but um, I did see the board, the boarding on Spetskov was val valid, but I did not see the elbowing. So uh, it could just be one thing um, that maybe I missed, but I was there, so I was, you know, there's a lot going on sometimes. So um, I think the Admirals have another good set of goalie tandem. Uh, Corona's definitely showing um, why um, Nashville had interest in him. Right. I'm not saying that he's like Yarrow level goalie. I'm, I'm not saying that. I am saying that he is a competitive goalie who feeds off of the atmosphere around him. And he tries to go out there every night and give your chance to your team a chance to win. Um, in other notes, uh, Jochen Kevel with four shots, Fetchkov with four shots, Anthony Angelo with two, Bellows with three, uh, Lucini had two, Hedestros had two, Upko had two, and Graval had two. Uh, 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 um, but uh, Mutter, uh, I, 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 I like Mutter's physical play, but offensively, he is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. uh, Mutter made a couple bad turnovers in, in, in the offensive zone that led to rushes the other way. Um, they did clamp down easily, but I just didn't like that. The, the turnovers, I thought that, you know, play your game, play in front of you. I understand there's guys behind you. You're trying to set up for the the zone and, and all that but at, at what point is it get deeper in the zone and maybe you have a better chance of making that same play yeah um just little things i've noticed that no not harping over it just saying that something i i would clean up if i were were the admirals um with that being said the admirals are like i said in rosemont tomorrow um Thank you all for watching. This has been from Walking in Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker. Oh, and happy Halloween.